on set pieces with Lombardi, Dangler, Killwine, and Charlie Stretch. Another start, that's a couple in a row for him. And of course, it's JC Obergott, regular season. Howdy folks, um, Peyton Gallagher, everything. But the here and now is exposition. The green light goes out, we turn them loose, wind them up and let them go here in Southern Georgia. Well-placed pass as sprinting in behind is Fonseca, that's where the ball goes. Fonseca, ahead of him is JJ. Into the center, Turnbridge has a go, Peck. Forced into action, and a stuttering step from Sebastian Vivas. Looks up, locates Sorensen. And a rainbow-shaped ball off the chest of Obergon, who has options. That's Johnson, Joel Johnson into action, and sharply focuses Drew Romick. The football 2024 is here. Live your dream, rep your team, and play as your favorite USL side as driving forward and slicing one in. Pedro Fonseca. In a blur, he arrives and changes the tie, turns it on its head, exactly what Tormenta would have wanted from the opening stage of this game. And the Ibises widen their wings. Here it is again. Steedman pulled off a little bit, maybe trying to set the line for an offside trap. And Inchai. Oh, what a ball that is. Omar Sis. And just about pushed wide. Sorensen. Locates okay, Mbuyu. Who drives and strides and dances to the byline. Cross in! And poke through. The piercing touch. It was Luis Alvarez on the spot. And it's Charlotte Independence who level the tie at 1 1. Turnbridge is one of them as he turns in. Vivas angles in a shot, it's blocked. And that is the final action of a thrilling first half here in Statesboro. And that's the end of the first half. Lombardi cutting back, just freeing himself of Correa into the box. And alive to the danger. And cutting in front of the cross is Austin Pack. An outlet instead in Jai. Chooses to course upstream and now picks out Luis Alvarez. Who in turn finds Dustin Correa. He rambles towards the back line and into the final third. Connecting with Obergon, who's upended. Play on, says the center official. not what Steven meant to do. Obergon! My word, what a goal! JC Obergon, an absolute belter! With bend and swerve and plenty of bites. And the lead belongs to Independents who set themselves away from their opponent. A knuckler that needles by Romig. These are pretty patterns emerging right now. Rhyming passes together. South Georgia Torment, that's Callum Stretch. Oh, just grazing wide. And Curry. First substitution. The match it looks 16, like the newly acquired the Curtis Thorne is set to come on. Two, That's a lot of pace Davis and punch. Dute joins up with his 6-2 frame ahead of this corner kick. Five, and it just flutters in over Romig. Charlotte Independence. Extend away. Quickly on the scene there. I mean, Hadzic to smooth tensions and away go Tormenta. Boomed into the box. 
Spengler got a clean cut at that, and Austin back. Maneuvering forward, Tormenta. Darted into the box. Good look at goal, and Fonseca just couldn't get it right. One of a couple of sharp attacking moves on the wide side. They all made out, lines one up, skips through, punched away, it falls for Vivas. And just like that, the interest is renewed in Statesboro. Periphery of the vision starting to blacken in these final stages. So little opportunity left to set yourself apart. Curry, Jackson Curry has a go and palmed wide. Have this in that. Looks like a cutting force on the ball. As they hope to draw blood here. Curry. And Spengler's turn. Osmir Spengler! There is nothing in the imagination that can match that. Ajmer Spengler with a sprinkle of fairy dust. And the magic story of South Georgia Tormenta breathes new life. They took a touch on the way there. Correa. That's it. Three whistles and a match that finishes 3-3 in a breathless conclusion.